What is up ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be showing you how to get one of the best bear armor sets in the game of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So guys, it's uh, a very strong set. Now obviously we are slightly underpowered when it comes to these guys, but it is definitely a set that uh, should be feared. So the 5 passive bonus buff will give you extra damage and it will also give you extra armor when you are surrounded by 2 or more enemies. Now uh, we're currently extremely under leveled here, but uh, nonetheless that's not going to stop us from pummeling these guys into the ground. So it's definitely worth investing in and uh, yeah, we're going to show you all the spots you need to go to in order to get it. So uh, we'll quickly show you what the armor provides you. Uh, let's go into our inventory here and you can see that with the five set piece, we get increased armor when surrounded by two or more enemies and we also deal increased damage in uh, melee combat. So yeah, definitely worth investing in, but uh, we're going to show you guys all the locations. Uh, it's pretty easy to get to. You can get this at any power level. Literally, you could sail into England right away and uh, go down to this area and get this gear and it's totally worth it. So uh, yeah, we'll show you guys the locations of the armor now. Alrighty guys, so the next location of the Brigandine armor is at the Winolkan Outpost. Now this outpost isn't too far from Raven Ravensthorpe and depending on how far you are in the game you should have uh, some fast travel points unlocked pretty close to it. Uh, like we had these two here that were uh, unlocked to it. So you should definitely have some uh, locations close to it. What you want to do is you want to try and approach from the south side which is where we are at the moment. And you want to make sure that there are no enemies nearby because there are quite a few strong enemies here. And uh, you can see we're pretty good. We're just going to come up here get a bit of a high ground here. Just to make sure we're not seeing any enemies. Yeah, you can see there's a couple there, but this site is generally unguarded. There's probably one guy there. Come down here and you'll see that there's a cave. Head inside of the cave, uh, there'll be more loot and stuff like that, like other chests. Uh, there is that guy there that you can see that's patrolling it. We're just going to ignore him and walk right past him. So you can loot that. There's a, another chest over there that you can loot. So grab some extra supplies and whatnot. Grab all the good stuff. Just like that. And then back here, there is a rock that you can move. So you want to move this rock out. You can assassinate that guy that's standing guard, but you generally won't need to worry about it. Um, and simply walk through the crack in the wall. And just like that, we've got the next set of Brigandine armor, which is pretty easy to get. Just like that, boom, Brigandine helm. So yeah, and let's move on to the next one. Alrighty guys, for this piece, you're going to need to come right down to the bottom corner of Kent down here. You can see this little gold nodule here, that is the piece we're after. Now, the best way to go about it is uh, you can try and go through the fortress, but if you're a little bit under leveled and you don't feel comfortable doing it, uh, then this is probably your next best bet. You can also obviously try and get down into the ocean, however it is pretty much got a little beach side the whole way across, unless of course you come from... Uh, the viewpoint that's over there and you can jump off the edge of that into the water um, But yeah, other than that, you're just gonna have to pretty much manually climb it down You can see here. There's nowhere for us to really leap off into um, and do a, a leap of faith So you need to climb down here It will take you a bit of time But you can pretty much just hold circle the whole time you're going down or, or your drop button It doesn't take too long about 30 seconds I would say to get to the bottom of the cliffs and uh, once you're down here you then pretty much are good to go so let's get down to the bottom of these cliffs here and we should be all right now uh you can pretty much dodge all the attacks because as far as i'm aware the power level just coincides to how hard they hit so as long as you can dodge their attacks they should not be a problem as far as i'm aware so pretty much run the rest of the way up here it's not too far there shouldn't be too really really too many enemies here so you probably won't need to worry about killing anyone, but you can see the armor piece has, well, the gear icon has come up this on the screen. There's one dude there. Let's, okay, there's a couple of guys, more than I anticipated. All right, so we're just going to honestly probably just run past them. You can, you can run past them. That's definitely an option. Um, but you do need to pick up an explosive barrel if you have the ability to. Uh, you can always just go into straight up combat and kill them. Uh, you can see here we're able to pretty much do a pretty good job. Uh, we're going to run past the rest of them because you just need to come up here. It's a little bit hard to see because of the lighting. Uh, but you can see here we've got a, a drop down point. Now this is where we're going to need the explosive barrel. We're just going to kill this guy here. He's dead. There's nothing up there. Okay, there's, there's a bunch of these guys, more than I anticipated. Just be careful not to get hit by them. We're going to pop off 
with this ability. Just take that guy out. Awesome. Okay. And if you backtrack a little bit, there is an explosive urn just down here. Just over here. So grab that bad boy. Make sure you don't get hit. Just run around if you need to. As long as you get this to the, the point where you need to throw it. Here we go. So we can see we're up here. And we can just throw that in there. That's going to open up the way for us. Drop down. Set yourself on fire in the process. It's always great. There's a couple of nodules down here that you can mine as well, which is really good. So feel free to mine those. I mean, it's, it is just iron ore. You can just break through that door. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And this is the first piece of armor that we get. The Brigandine Trousers. So you can always hang around and fight these guys. They'll generally not follow you down the hole. So if you can get down the hole, you can pretty much wait till you're anonymous. And then you can just run out of here. Um, but you can see here they, they haven't come down the hole. So you can just chill in this room, become anonymous. Once you're anonymous, you can then uh, fast travel out of here. So yeah, that's the that's the uh, that's one of the pieces of the brigandine armor that you can get. And we're gonna move on to the next one. The next set piece of the brigandine armor is the chest piece. So for this, you need to come to Canterbury Cathedral. You can fast travel here if you've already unlocked the uh, synchronization point. If you are sort of um, running it through you obviously you can just run your way down here and that's that's one of the easiest ways and stop at the canterbury cathedral to get the armor as well on the way to uh the dover cliffs and all you need to do is look for these scroll racks up here simply climb up them make sure you've got some arrows as well and there's a door just here that we need to shoot the lock off if you use your odin vision you'll actually see it hold on there we go there you can see that is the lock you need to shoot off so try and line up your shot so that you can hit it, unlike me. Let's come over to this other scroll rack over here and see if we can hit this off. There we go, we had it just there for a second. Hold on. There we go, you can see that that is now off. All you need to do, come back down and climb. Now, this is a completely aggro-free area inside the cathedral, so you don't need to worry about anyone trying to kill you. Climb up one of the pillars. Once you're up the pillars, you can simply then just go through the door. Oh my God, look how nice and bright it is outside. Go through the door. Come around this corridor, follow these stairs down. Now there's a chandelier up here that you can use to break the floor here. If you don't have uh, the explosive arrow ability, which you can see we have, we just don't have adrenaline to use. So it's on the C slot, which is your explosive arrows. If you, um, if you, if you chuck that on the floor, it'll actually explode. Now you can use that on pretty much any of these destructible walls that you find. Come down here, loot the chest, and this will be the brigandine armor. Boom, bada, boom. Done. Grab the opal as well that's here. And just like that, you've got two pieces of the brigandine armor. Alrighty, guys. So the next piece of the brigandine armor is a little bit west of uh, the Canterbury Cathedral. You can see here's the cathedral. This is where we need to come to, to uh, Beamersfield. And you can see that's the armor lo uh, icon just there. So all you need to do for this one is grab two keys, which honestly sounds easy on paper. But it's uh, a little bit more difficult than that. So you can be a sneak, you can be sneaky, or you can just go guns blazing and just totally destroy every one of those suckers. It depends on your power level. We aren't too great of a power level because we've been trying to find these uh, these armor sets for you guys so we can do videos on them. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up here. We're going to try and get as stealthily as we can. Now, one of the keys Even is inside a house. Inside the other is uh, located where a bunch of dudes are chilling around on. So you kind of want to go for the keys first, but you should see if we can sneak the right way. Let's go around this way. Alrighty guys, so the first key is just a little bit south of that main house. It's just here. There is a guy that stands in front of it and protects the house. We're going to try and assassinate him. We can, yeah, that's fine. We should be able to kill him. There we go, we're going to kill him. And there's just a window here that you can actually climb through. So, we've just killed that guy. Let's climb through this window here. There is a key there. Grab the key, we're good to go. There is another one though, because you can see there it says two chest keys. Well, this is the first chest key anyway. Uh, we're going to probably just go out this window here, so that we don't get the attention of the other guy that's uh, looking for us. There we go. Alright, cool. Let's jump out of the window. Go back into stealthy mode. Come into this grass here. And then this second key should be just over here. Alrighty guys, and the second key is just behind that main house. So the main house is just down that hill. You need to actually come up here to the top of the hill, and the second key will be here. 
Now, you do need to be careful because if you don't want to fight your way through this one, there is a big Chungus boy running around over there. You can see big thick boy over there. He's ready to uh, punch some faces in. Oh, we need to be careful. I might try and assassinate him. Uh, it is in that main room, so you need to sort of get in there. But I don't want to assassinate this guy and draw attention. We're just going to drop down here. Just like that. Ooh. That guy turned... Ooh, that guy turned around. Alright, let's come down here. We're going to loot this chest real quick. Give me that. A little bit of extra ore and fabric and stuff never helped. And then you've got the key right here. Grab the key. And then you're pretty much good to go. And you can get out. Let's go. 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 And just like that, you've got all the keys. And then you can make your way back down to the house. Unlock the chest and you'll get your next piece of brigandine armor. We're going to get back down to that house. Let's go down here. Once you get to that house, there's really nothing else you need to worry about in terms of uh, enemies. There's no real enemies in or around that house, surprisingly enough. So let's get over here. And yeah, we're pretty much here. Best not to draw attention here. There we go. It does say restricted area, but there's no enemies here, which is pretty funny. Okay, there's one dude patrolling outside. Um, it's pretty easy to get in here. Climb up the wall, climb up here, unlock the chest. And just like that, you got your Brigandine Gauntlets. So let's move on to the next one. Alrighty guys, so the next piece of armor is located pretty much just a little north from uh, Quatford. So you can see here that there's this staircase here. You want to head towards this staircase. That is what's going to allow you to get to the next uh, Brigandine armor set. So follow along the coast uh, as best as you can. You can see here we're pretty close to it. It's just coming up ahead. Um, now the way will be blocked. It is blocked by a ship with some rocks in it. Um, sorry, not some rocks, some explosives. So you can see here we are, and uh, there's a, a boat full of explosives. So you can go ahead and use that to explode it, or you can use your explosive arrows. It's up to you. Uh, we're just going to burst it just to, to get that sucker out of the way. You will set yourself on fire in the process, of course, if you don't decide to uh, wait for the fire to go out like me. Uh, slightly impatient and set ourselves on fire twice. That takes talent. Alrighty, so we'll run through here. And you can see here that it's pretty and a pretty intense cave. You just have to keep going through though. It's a little bit of parkour -y. There's a fake wall here. Break that bad boy down. Move this big pink rock out of the way. I was going to say we were about to go through that. Uh, make sure you move it slightly to the left as well so you can get back through. Follow it through and you'll find that there's a little, uh, not altar room, but like a sacrificial room. And uh, all you need to do, crack open this last chest. And just like that, you've got yourself your full set of Brigandine armor, which is uh, pretty dope. Alrighty, guys. So this is what the Brigandine armor set looks like. Now, it has a very good armor set. So increases armor when surrounded by two more than two enemies. And you deal additional damage with your melee attacks, which is really good. Now, obviously, you can upgrade this armor as well. You can see there it comes with two slots already open. So you can already slot some runes into it and you can upgrade it again at Gunner. So feel free to head over to Gunner and uh, I'm sure Gunner will be more than happy to upgrade it for you provided you give him the right materials. Do you want to let us upgrade our like gear, see what And uh, you can see here it will cost uh, nickel ingots as well. So you can get these in the higher power leveled areas if you are sort of getting this armor set early on and you don't have too many uh, nickel ingots. Just run to one of the higher level areas, loot a couple of the ingot chests and you should get some nickel ingots pretty quickly. Just obviously do be safe because they will hit hard over there. But uh, they do get new appearances as well the more you level them up. So they're definitely worth investing in. And uh, yeah, I really recommend getting the Brigandine armor. Especially if you like sort of the more melee aspect of the game. And being up close and personal with a bunch of different enemies and stuff like that. Because it'll allow you to tank more damage with more armor. And you'll also be dealing more melee damage with your set. So guys... That's going to wrap up the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But uh, yeah, that's how you get the Brigandine armor set. That's definitely one of the better sets of the bear class. And uh, if you've got your skills slotted right, you will definitely be able to buff that armor set up quite a lot due to it having the uh, the passive from the set. Hold on, where, uh, where's that ability? Let's just find it real quick. The passive that you get. You wear it like buffs all your armor. There you go there. Plus one attack, three stun, crit chance, block, armor, evasion, and weight. So it's definitely worth investing in. And uh, yeah, one of the better bear armor sets in the game. 
So guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.